moon, jelly, or oleo are probably most common and widely recognized type of jellyfish. That a distinguishing feature of the moon surely is the set of four half tall shaped structures on the surface of the face. These are the gonads. Immature jellies all look the same, but as they mature, you can fix them. The gonads of the male stay white, while those of the female turn pink. It lasts in early summer. The male release their gametes into the surrounding waters. These are collected by the mouth part of the female and transferred to egg sac. While fertilization occurs, the female broods these eggs for several days until just before they hatch into a microscopic lava of stage. The planula swims through the water to find a suitable place to settle. The planula metamorphoses into a thistle, usually benthic polyp called physistoma. <laughs> the physistoma is the first thistle stage in the life cycle of Olivia. This stage is attached to a hot substrate, often in low light. After feeding, it will undergo budding at a low end and develop into a zombula. is the modified cyphistoma in that the budding will occur the all end. The stobula undergoes one of ability of types of asexual or occasionally sexual reproduction, resulting in the production of either small polyps or formation of ephala, which are simply small medusa. The first form of asexual reproduction that may occur is budding, in which a new organism grows out from the body of the parent organisms. This is the most common way from an ephala to form. Within a short time, the young ephala is feeding other microplanktonic crustacea and larvae. It captures the play on the lapids and moves the food towards the mouth. This state has begun to differentiate allow arms and marginal tentacles. The ephala mature into the medusa, which is a jellyfish form we are all familiar with. Thank you.